This episode was made possible thanks to our amazing partner, KiwiCo. Y'all know that I am all about new experiences and new adventures. A new year is always a great time to discover new things about ourselves and our interests. And it is just as important for the kids in our lives to make the same discoveries. I really love the bottle rocket crate where you can make your own rocket and then launch it into the air for real mini BFFs. You can also play around with how high you want it to go. It's so cool. Your child can get super cool hands-on science, art, and geography projects delivered to their door any month. And I have a feeling it will be a pretty exciting day when that box arrives each month. So give your kids the tools to learn new skills, build new experiences, and make new connections. Redefine learning with play and get 50% off. That's five zero off your first month, plus free shipping on any crate line with the code MINIBFF at KiwiCo.com. That's 50% off your first month at KIWICO.com, promo code MINIBFF. Hi, friends. Welcome to the Mini BFF podcast. Thank you for joining us for this very special Brave series. It started on Monday to celebrate the release of my new kids' book, 100 Days to Brave for Kids. I'm your host and friend, Annie F. Downs. I'm so excited to be with you all for a couple of minutes today and share a little story from one of my favorite books, the Bible. No matter where you are or what you've been up to, I love that I get to spend this time with you. Hey, many BFFs, you may know this, but every Monday night at 6 p.m. Central over on Instagram Live, I get to read a book with you. It's my favorite night of the week where I get to say hi to all my friends and share the artwork you've sent in. And today I want to give an extra shout out to my girl, Vivian. Hey, Vivian, we love that you love the podcast. We're so thankful to have you as a mini BFF. All right, friends, let me tell you how this podcast is going to go. First, I'm gonna read you a story and then we'll pray together. And then I'm going to ask you to draw something fun for me because we love drawing pictures at Mini BFF Book Club. So we have to draw them for the Mini BFF podcast too. And however much you love drawing them, we love seeing them more. So, okay. Are you ready to get started with our story? Me too. This one is called Bravery with Giants. Here we go. This, my friends, is a true story. There once was a little girl named Ruby Bridges. She wanted to go to school, but because of the color of her skin, she wasn't allowed to attend the school in town that was made for children with white skin. Through lots of hard work and long talks and trials and a whole lot more, the rules were changed and Ruby was allowed to go to the other school in town. But just because she was allowed didn't mean people were happy about it. Sometimes it is hard for people to accept change, even if the change that is happening is actually the right answer. But Ruby was brave, so brave, in fact, that she walked through large crowds of people who probably felt like giants to little Ruby. Each day as she walked to school, these people shouted very mean words at her. But Ruby kept going because she was brave. She said that her mama had always taught her about God and that he was always there to protect her. And because of that, she walked past all the grown-ups who didn't like the change that was happening. And she went to school. The Bible teaches us about being brave a lot. But one story in particular that I always think about is the story about the small shepherd boy named David. David was part of a group of people called the Israelites, and the Israelites were at battle with a group called the Philistines. These two groups didn't get along very well, and in fact, the Philistines didn't want the Israelites to be around at all. When the two groups met for a battle, the Philistines were standing on one hill, and the Israelites were on the other hill. It was all pretty normal, normal as it can be for a battle, until a giant named Goliath came out from the Philistine side. And many BFFs, he was huge. The Bible tells us that Goliath was nine feet and nine inches tall. That is almost as tall as a basketball goal. He wore a bronze helmet, bronze armor, and carried a bronze javelin slung between his shoulders over his back. And if that wasn't enough to feel scary, Goliath also had a large shield that he could use to protect himself. Listen, that doesn't sound like someone I would want to mess with, would you? Goliath came out and challenged the Israelites to send someone who could actually beat him. So every morning for 40 days, Goliath would come out and wait to battle. David was the youngest of eight sons that he'd been asked by Saul, the Israelite king, to come to fight, even though he was so much smaller than all of his brothers. 
But David wasn't super into the battle. He would spend his time running back and forth to check on the sheep at his father's place. One day, he went back to the valley where the battle was taking place and saw Goliath come out and wait for someone who would fight him. Saul, who was the leader, remember, he's the king of the Israelites and he's in charge of the battle. He was really discouraged. But David told him not to be discouraged, that he could go and fight Goliath. Now, Saul was a little unsure about this. In fact, he told David, you can't go fight this Philistine. You're just a child and he is a warrior. But David told Saul that just because he was younger didn't mean he wasn't capable of fighting this giant. By being a shepherd, David fought off all sorts of animals to protect the sheep. He told Saul that he knew the Lord would protect him from someone like Goliath. Saul told him to go and fight. So David did. At first, they put armor on David, but it didn't fit very well. So David took it off and he walked into battle with only his shepherd's staff, five smooth stones, and a sling in his hands. The giant came closer and closer to David. He started yelling mean things, and David stood there unprotected by visual armor, but completely covered in the armor only God can provide. David shouted back, you come against me with a sword and a spear and a javelin, but I come against you in the name of the Lord. Well, this made Goliath angry. He started to move toward David, and instead of running away, David ran towards him. He quickly put his hand in his bag, took out a stone, and slung it and hit Goliath right in the forehead. And guess what happened? Goliath fell. David had beaten the giant. Because the Lord was with him and gave him bravery and wisdom, David had taken down the largest, scariest giant. What stories like David and Ruby Bridges teach us is no matter what your size or age or status, with God, you can still make a huge impact. David was the smallest of the army when he bravely took down Goliath. Ruby, at a very young age, knew how to stand up for what was right. And because she bravely walked forward past the crowds of people wanting her to fail, she helped make a change for kids in schools all over the country. Because they believed in the protection God provided, they could bravely face the big, scary giants that were in front of them. Maybe you have something that feels big that you are facing. Can I tell you something, mini BFFs? You have the ultimate protector when it comes to that big, scary thing. And that ultimate protector is God. He is with you. He hears every worry, every prayer, and He is always sending strength to you. Let's pray together. Dear God, thank you for providing us with all the strength we need to fight the battles each day. Whether it's fighting giants like David or fighting for what is right like Ruby or fighting against the things that make us scared, we know that you are there. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Oh, many BFFs, I love hearing about people being brave, but I especially love it when it's kids who show us bravery. So for our drawing today, can you draw me a picture of David and Goliath? I can't wait to see what you come up with. So draw a picture and then grab a grown-up to either tag Mini BFF Book Club on Instagram or mail it to P.O. Box 121826, Nashville, Tennessee, 37212. Mini BFFs, if you want to read even more about being brave, my newest book, 100 Days to Brave for Kids, comes out on February 8th. And did you know that I already have a book called 100 Days to Brave? That is for grownups. So you and your parents can be reading all about being brave at the same time. You can grab your copy anywhere books are sold. Mini BFF, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'm always so happy to have you here with us. Remember, be kind to your grownups, your teachers, and your friends. And I'll see you next time. And hey, grownups, if you want to talk more about today's story, we read from 1 Samuel 17. And if you want to learn more about Ruby Bridges, you can just Google her. There's a lot of her story to be seen and read. And because we're doing the special series, we've got another episode of the Brave series coming for you on Friday. So we'll see you then. Bye, mini BFFs. Love you, mean it.